gonna call this district Madison. Madison sounds like a fly white girl with a she got a pumpkin spice latte and some Ugg boots. No, 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 stop the music, stop the music. We've been going too long. Let's just get right into it. All right. So this week's episode, yeah, I'm Kool Aid. I'm Kool Aid, y'all. God, good God, get that out the way. All right. So this week's episode, I really didn't have an idea. So I thought that's an episode. You'll get to see me make something from nothing. I mean, I don't have a road layout. I don't have anything. All I do have is a train line that's extending out of the projects right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this all the way to the basically the edge of the city. There will be nothing really built past this point. Uh, again, I don't have an idea. You'll see me make mistakes. You'll see me undo a lot of stuff. You'll see some stuff not work. And then I kind of mess with it until I try to make it work. Some of it never works. And that happens. But we're going to watch all that today. Right now, I'm laying a brick wall underneath the train line just to, you know, be different. I was going to use the uh, little support beams or, you know, the over-the-road support or something like that. But I was like, no, let me make my own kind of little brick arcade area. It won't be as detailed as some of the assets from the game. But look, I can do cool stuff like that, like run this little road underneath it, you know. Who knows? At this point, I honestly don't know where I'm going with this. I do have a few buildings that I think would look dope in this area. It's a really tiny little block, so we gotta kinda be careful about what we use. I'ma run one of these uh, one unit roads, kinda use it as sort of a frontage road for this area. I, you know, I, I wanna try to act like I have a big plan here, but I, I promise I don't. Uh, again, I do have some buildings though. One of my favorite asset creators just dropped these on the workshop, these New York tenement buildings. So you can see here I'm kinda laying some out. Uh, the more I lay these out, I realize this is like a super trash, like this is just trash. It just, it's just house, 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 city, house, house, house. So let's delete all that. Uh, let's try to lay it a little bit more purposefully. So I'm gonna make sure I lay two really close to the train line because I want them to just cut through that, cut through that part of the, of the uh, buildings, you know, make it really feel like, a, you know, keeping that NYC feeling going. I'm going to lay out a few more of these along the frontage row. Um, I'm going to speed some of this up. We're going to talk again in a minute. You guys hang out. This is Viridian County. All right, that beat kind of made me feel like Don Cornelius, like I was supposed to say, uh, I want to thank our special guest, the Shylights, and uh, to all the people out in TV land, love, peace, and soul. Anyway, y'all can see me uh, right now. I'm laying out another one of these elevated station platforms. I figured, if you know, the people in the projects got a dope custom elevated metro station, we need to make one over here for sure, except it's not going to be like you know, uh, Brooklyn Bronx style. We're gonna make this kind of fancy. You know, we got some fancy people living over here in these houses. So I'm gonna connect up that line, make sure it runs through the projects, and you, uh, this is kind of the final stop. Right now you can see me going through a million different buildings. I, I really don't know what fits next to this station. So I, I'm going through everything, man. Like I'm trying Goodwills, coffee shops, uh, the dock house was definitely not gonna work. I thought this was gonna work, but I'm like, yo, that's, it's, I just seem like I've done seen myself do that before. I like that building, not gonna work. So I settled on the uh, West Side Market building. I do already have this somewhere in my city. I was really debating whether or not to use this Milwaukee Road Depot, but I really started to kind of like the look of this station. I like that little extra piece that comes with it that I can stick on the other side of the station. So I, I just kind of settled on this. We are gonna use PO to adjust the shape just a little bit uh but other than that you know i think the building kind of works right now i'm attempting to lay down some commercial on this little hill uh just trying to see what kind of looks like it fits i definitely like the pork store that's gonna stay uh this little this little deal right here i don't know if i'm feeling that at all not because of the colors we can always change the colors but i just I just don't, I don't know, I don't think I'm feeling that. So I'm going, I think I'm going to get rid of some of these pieces. The little grocery store could stay. We could put that down on the corner. 
Let's try some other stuff. Oh, I like. Oh, you know what? This little cafe. I use this in, in somewhere else in the city too. But I like that little cafe. Like how it has the awning on that one side. So we'll kind of fit that as close as we can to the little. You know, it's a, it's supposed to be an industrial asset, I think. But you know, it's a commercial asset in our city. I think it's Rico to commercial or office or something like that. We're gonna kind of slide all this stuff together, recolor it. And I'm going to lay a little temporary bus line. It just kind of services this neighborhood and brings everybody kind of up to this station. That way I see a little bit less people walking. And I need a name for this district. I don't have one, but all I know right now is we're definitely not going to call it Foggy Park. Definitely not. Anyway, so I'm going to uh, use this Windy Creek Brewery building. Brew, brewery. Brew, I cannot say that word at all. Brewery. There we go. Brewery. And I'm um, attempting to put down, a, you know, see what kind of parks kind of work in the area. I do want to be conscious that we do want to boost the land value. I don't know what I was thinking. We're using sunken stuff. We got this. And that's not going to work. Maybe this. Maybe this. Yeah, let's get rid of this. And I'll put the little sunken plaza right here on this corner. I like that look right there. I like the bricks. So, yeah, that kind of works, I guess. Let's reconnect this road. And uh, let's continue on. I would love to pretend like I know the next step, but I really don't. I know I need to fill in these houses. We need to put down some services. You know, we got to do the whole thing, man. So we're checking out the uh, train ride that cuts through the buildings. We're getting there. The ride, the little, the little short ride will be dope once it cuts through everything. So uh, I am going to come back and build a custom kind of platform area. But right now, we're just going to leave these blocks right here just to make sure the station itself is working. Look how high my man is walking above the ground. Yo, we got to, we really got to fix this. Don't worry. There'll be a whole soul. Colossal City. Okay. Word. I mean, it doesn't really, it don't really mean nothing to us, but that's, you know, it's dope to know that we're still adding people. I guess that was from those tenement buildings we just laid down. I'm not sure the population counts on those. I think it's maybe 20 families or so, but yeah, okay. Colossal. I'm in the past now. What am I doing? Okay, yeah. Colossal, baby. You know what I'm saying? We colossal. I'm with that. Get a little, we got the hubs going on. All right. I love that. Okay. Uh, again, I mean, I'm not too hype about any of this stuff. Maybe the inland water treatment, but it, maybe not even that. So let's put our services down now. Yo, we need some fire. We need 12. We, oh, let's go ahead and put a little, little engine right there. A little decoration. I'm going to decorate it, kind of detail it as I go along. And uh, let's put a parking lot back here to kind of separate this from the rest of our residential area. Maybe put a little footpath behind the plaza. And we basically just need to keep going with that, man. I, I do, I try to keep in mind that I do need the services. Carve out a space for that. Don't have to, you know, stack it on the back end. So let's go ahead and put this fire department uh, in the police department right there on the, right near the train station. Uh, I'm going to stick this pharmacy on the back side of that and we'll detail that up later. And right now I'm just kind of messing around, man. Making some little bus stops for the people. I can see the people starting to use the stops. That's good. And I'm attempting here to use our terrain, ter ah, I almost did it again, our terraforming networks to kind of make sure that the side of the building, look at it, you see it right there, it's looking weird, look at that. Oh man, you got that, we got that, we gotta have to tweak with this and we're gonna have to keep going. We want this to look nice. I'm gonna let y'all see me messing this up because I'm gonna mess it up for a while, yo. I'm trying to figure out where the, like, there's a built-in building path that I need my path to kind of collide with so people walk. They don't do anything weird. They don't do a weird loop-de-loop -loop or none of that. You know what I'm saying? So right now you can see people using the path. They're walking straight onto the uh, platform. So we're gonna make sure the platform is in the right spot. Let's copy this around a few times. Cause like I said, at least we know that's where the, the pathing for the, for the building is. We know that level won't change. All we have to do is make our other stuff match up. So right here, I got like a little pedestrian path running on the back side, so everybody doesn't have to come around the, the front of the building. I'm gonna use some PO on that little block to kind of stretch that out, make a nice little platform. Y'all see, y'all see it coming together. I know y'all see it. It's ashy, but we gonna put some baby oil on the situation. Don't worry. Right now, I'm tinkering with the empty spaces, trying to fill it up. So let's uh, let's get into another small time lapse. I'm gonna be back. All 
right, things are starting to fill up. We're going to drop a school down and take a look at what we've got so far. I think it's looking nice. I do want to take a moment to do a little bit of detail as far as like some planters and things to fill everything up. And then I'm going to lay down a few different styles of housing to give the area its own unique feel. Let's check it out. As y'all can see, we ended up using a few different, like, you know, some English style houses, a few just different things to give the area that kind of old world, old school, but we got money over here kind of vibe. Right now, I'm putting down a coin laundry. You can see me kind of working with some of the surfaces. Um, it looks a little ratty without this work going on, but that's, you know, because of all of the, the height differentials and... I like working with that stuff. Y'all know me by now, man. I'll put some surfaces and some retainer walls down on any situation to make it look good. Also, there's a little invisible path. Y'all can't see it, but it's, it's definitely right there. We're going to lay some pavement over top of it. So they can walk straight into the door. River rocks on the hill. I'm really liking the river rocks for this area. You'll see me use those a lot. Copying some of these houses. And I'm kind of working on this little blank area right here. I thought for a second maybe I could make a little sort of man-made lake. A really, really small little, I don't know, like a... And put some trees and stuff around it but i found out using the water tool that i'm way too far above the water table to do that it's not gonna work so i ended up just putting a high school right there i know big big surprise uh but this high school actually was too big you can see me jigging with the uh the uh soccer stadium and it just won't fit so i ended up using a way smaller soccer stadium a way smaller high school this doesn't even end up being the final high school this is like the second choice and then i pick another one but I really wanted the assets to just be kind of small, kind of tucked in. Uh, right now, I'm working with the hill space, and I'm again using the river rocks. I thought about using the, well, as I like to call them quays. I know the word is keys, but I like quays. It sounds funny. It looks funny. Uh, but I ended up going river rocks and trees. This is the final school that I ended up going with. Uh, it's got that kind of little funky brick pattern right there. I'm not sure where in the world this school is from, but I just felt like, yeah, this works here. So let's uh, put that in. We need a few more trees to kind of just fill that area. I want one you kind of riding by our little main ring road down there. You kind of see this up on a hill. Again, this is the outskirts of the city. So, you know, this is like the very, very edge. Uh, with the uh, stadium, I wanted to have the decals, though. That's the one thing about the when you use the King Leno joints, you get the decals. So I kind of had to use my own. Right now, I'm expanding out and putting just a little small, tiny, some one-unit residentials. This is very, like I said, very outskirt swag. These may be some of the last houses even built in the downtown uh, at all. I'm going to switch out some of these roads for parking lot roads. Let's speed it up. street actually turned out to be one of my favorite parts of the district the double decals you got the ballers with the iron chains go put some of these ppg tables down so people can really sit at them and now we need to address the elefante in the room that's the paths man we got to get these paths on this train station right yo so i kind of want to see where the borders are but it really don't matter let's just delete everything i got this i got this i absolutely do not got this now you see now 
You done fucked up, you know that, don't you? No, no, I haven't. I got this. Trust me. Look, we're going to lay these pads back down. We're going to make sure the heights are correct. I got this. Y'all need to believe in me. So we're going to put this in three speeds so we can see what our civilians are doing. They're getting off the train at least. So that part's kind of more or less still working, I guess. So let's speed it up. I got this, man. I got, I got this. I got this. No, I, I thought... No, so, you know what I'm saying? You done I, fucked up now. You know that, don't you? Okay, I think I did mess it up. So we're going to have to listen. Let's just start from the beginning, yo. We're going to use a different kind of path that I know just does a little better in these situations. So we have our two paths connected up to what I believe is the platform. And now, again, we're going to speed it up and we'll see if the citizens build back up. That's how we'll know if it's working. We're going to kind of just, we're still messing with the heights to make sure the, the path fits flush. I just want people to walk through the building, out of a door onto the platform no hijinks i think they're frozen because i took a node out so we'll see i so i think it's working i think it's well, yeah okay so i think it's working again good see good for me that's what i'm talking about thanks, thanks brain, brain. 98.5 city sounds we got some shout outs now you know we gotta salute the gang gang so shout out to our city by diana fast forward plays and bluesy builder more music on the way man stay tuned much does it for the bulk of the detail and I just wanted to highlight a few key things that I did so like right here on this wall our little 
retaining wall that we use to kind of line our whole metro track. I wanted to like make some big giant ivy patches. I felt like that added to the baller swag of this area. Like these, these is college kids and you know what I'm saying? Older ladies that's living off old boy money. They got little dogs. They be going to spin class and yada yada. They they got money over here. So we want the area to feel kind of swanky. You know what I'm saying? Now other than this, we're going to also put this big, you know, I'm sure they're not happy about that giant patch on the wall. But I also thought it would be dope to add a bunch of like just random graffiti. Like the biggest murals and biggest pieces of graffiti I could find. I also wanted to lay some of these... Uh, little garages underneath here but i thought they just the bricks don't match I, no matter how i tried to you know re recolor them in po or whatever it wasn't working so i thought the better thing would to do would use the same retaining wall and pieces of the garage to make my own little garages so at first i tried uh using this awning and stretching it out but it was definitely not looking right so again i ended up just breaking the uh the actual asset down in po and so i'm just using the roof and i ha I still have to go back and adjust it there's some little bricks kind of underneath it and just pull down the sides just to make it feel a little bit more natural but i thought that was like a way better idea than just sticking them little goofy garages in there and we'll add the doors back we'll put some lamps up on the situation some decals to kind of make it look a little more lived in Again, aesthetically to me, a way better option. Put some small trash cans and bikes and just stuff like that back there. These are people's personal little garages for these these homes. These uh, these homes are from Amsterdam, by the way. And uh, I just thought they had a dope fit. Everything brick, man. We went real brick crazy. So we're going to lay a few of these out just along the train line. And you can see more of the murals that we laid down. Also, I was tinkering back and forth and thinking about some kind of a station sign but we can't use Stewart hall i think we're definitely already using that somewhere that westfield sign doesn't have geometry on the back side so i went on the workshop i was kind of looking around i remember seeing some kind of marquee letters some shiny they got like some bulbs and stuff on them they look kind of old school kind of fancy. i think they're from the french architecture collection by the way if anybody's looking for them but there they are right there i ended up downloading like there's two different sizes and i got the smaller ones i, I kind of regret that now i'm gonna actually end up going back and switching them out but anyway i just wanted to find some flat land so i can kind of line this up oh and i thought of the district name we're gonna call this district madison madison sounds like a fly white girl with a she got a pumpkin spice latte and some ugg boots but uh yeah so madison is the name of that little uh little district that we made i'm gonna copy some of these letters over and we're just gonna use this marquee and it, it actually comes with some little frames too you know so we could put the frames on there and it just kind of makes the station feel way more like a station to me and uh you're watching the process man you're watching i usually kind of have all this stuff thought out but you can say i didn't even have a district name it was definitely not gonna be called foggy park 100 percent guarantee you that the school campus, that came out crazy. Put a little bus right there just to make it feel schooly. I need to go do a little more. It's, it's some places where I need to go kind of clean it up, but I just feel like all in all, especially my little street right here. Oh, this is my baller street. Oh, I need to move this car. So this is a car I put right here for, uh, I'm taking some screenshots for the IG. Follow me on IG. By the way, y'all need to tap in with my TikTok. That's where I was, y'all. I was messing around on the talk, and I think I got it together. Our next series is going to be so dumb fire. Oh, Look at what I did with the graveyard, man. We went crazy right there, man. So uh, these buildings actually get swapped out. The buildings in the front, the day I was recording the voiceovers for the episode, the asset creator actually dropped a new pack that has the corner buildings. I was going through the murals. I thought about making something custom, but yo, I don't know who made this, but that's dope. So we're just going to use that right up against that train line. Make that, that ride into the neighborhood. Have a little color, a little splash of color to it. But uh, all in all, kids, I think that is it for this episode. A little different vibe, you know, a little different style, slightly anyway. The top of this building is burning my soul, yo. It's giving Ninja Turtles, yo. Like, why? Is this like a, a European kind of thing? I got to get... Who did this? But, like, we got to find out who's behind this. I'm sorry, man. I got, I'm going to spend a couple of weeks trying to figure out how to re retexture at least that part right there. It's burning my soul. But anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out with me, man. Let's get them cinematics. <laughs>
triple salute straight out the hood to everybody that's been liking comment and subscribing y'all been telling people y'all been putting me in discord y'all been going crazy i can't even keep up y'all gotta follow me on tiktok because what comes next i want y'all to be at ground zero for that meanwhile i'm red kool-aid this is viridian county peace Ooh,